we've just come back from hospital, but it wasn't St. Michael's. This is Biffa the blog. Morning. Um, well, welcome back to day 30 of Biffa the blog. Um, I'm doing it in the car because it's been mad this morning. Um, fortunately, Heidi's been feeling a bit unwell again. Um, it, she's not necessarily like a snotty nose or anything, but she is just coughing. She's got a cough. Uh, so last night, she didn't get a very good night's sleep. Uh, she was just coughing. You know that feeling of coughing and not being able to get off um, and get to sleep. So. She had a very broken night's sleep. The child mind has been really good about taking her today. Um, just because it's an important day for me as well, because it's the last uh, day for filing tax returns at work, so it's going to be busy anyway. It's generally, today we were going to go up to Bristol. It looks likely that we're going to put that on hold for at least for at least tonight, just because there's no point in her being up there and coughing away. And she won't be able to see Noah while she's coughing and it's a bit gutting for me because I obviously look forward to seeing Noah on a Friday and uh, yeah, I would be a bit guided not to go up tonight but it's probably for the best. So we'll see how it goes, hopefully Heidi will be okay today and like I said, the childminder was really good about it um, and we'll see if I can get a good day's work done today. today has been a really good day. Um, they weighed Noah this morning and he's put back on some of the weight which he'd lost. So they've upped his feeds to 70 mils, so we're over, well over 2 ounces now by like 10 mils, which is great. He had his MRI first thing this morning and he didn't need sedating because he was just lovely and settled, which was brilliant. The catheterization is going really well, not had a problem since yesterday and now in hindsight I don't really think that was a problem I think he just didn't need one some nice lady came along and gave him a mobile to put on his cot today so he's got a bit of stimulation he had his head scan and that's good he doesn't need a tap today so all in all it's been a pretty good day so far it was quite a busy day today so I've not managed to vlog much this afternoon um, really I just picked up Heidi uh, took her back here um, she's not been overly happy should we say because this cough is really doing her head in uh, which I don't blame her for really um, she's full of struggled food today to be honest um, so yeah I mean there's definitely no chance of us going up tonight um, but hopefully she'll set her off and feel a little bit better okay so just as I say that about Heidi um, she started having a bit more of a cough and um, I've just managed to set her off now, but I'm a bit concerned about her, to be honest. She's breathing quite hard, um, breathing very fast as well. I think it's the thing that concerns me the most. Um, so, I, I know I've probably been delaying the inevitable here, but we're probably going to have to ring um, the out of hours. So that's probably going to be a trip up to hospital with Heidi as well. I've got two of your machines now. You're all right though, aren't you? Um, we're just about to be transferred to Caroline Thorpe. Um, they just want to keep an eye on her temperature because it's quite high um, and her oxygen sats as well because they're sort of in the low mid 90s at the moment so I think they're just keen to keep an eye on it and make sure she's all okay. Um, don't know what that exactly means in terms of time but I'm going to assume it's probably an overnight stay. It's pretty much midnight now um, so we will see what happens to be honest um, but we'll just get her transferred over to Caroline Thorpe first and take it from there. So it's a bit surreal being in North Devon Hospital with Heidi. Last thing I'd expected but in another way I sort of expected it as well. Your mummy's going a bit crazy with a bit <laughs> with not knowing or not being able to be here. Um, <laughs> a bit of role reversal going on I think. But uh, thankfully you know she's not 
really, really poorly. I think it's just she was just struggling and needed a nebulizer. That seems to have eased the issues. Her fast breathing, she's now breathing nice and slow. Seems a lot more settled and she's actually able to go off to sleep, as you can see. Um, she was a little bit sick when they tried to give her some lovely pink medicine, which I haven't got anymore. Um, but they've given us um, Neurofen now. Hopefully just bring out the temperature. The temperature was about 38, um, so a lot higher than I thought it was. Um, but I'm glad for bringing her in. She definitely looks a lot more settled now. Today was a good day in terms of Noah, he's had a really settled good day, lots of progress made. Not such a good day in terms of Heidi though, this is definitely the hardest thing I think we've faced as a mummy and daddy so far, <laughs> being not only split but split in hospitals, one child in one hospital and the other in another. Hopefully. Heidi will soon be on the mend. Her oxygen saturation levels have gone up since she had the nebulizer, so she's just keen to sleep because she's absolutely shattered. This was always sort of like my worst fear when I first found out that we were going to be up in Bristol for the first month or so of Noah's life. It's like the worst time of year for Heidi's asthma winter. And so it was always my worst fear that one of us would be here in Bristol with Noah and the other would be in hospital with Heidi. I just wish I could be in two places at once. So here we are at Caroline Thorpe. Heidi's gone into her new little bed. I think she's just very tired. Um, they're thinking about maybe putting another nebulizer on her just because her oxygen sats were a little bit low. Um, so we'll see where we go from here, to be honest. Hopefully, she can get some rest. Um, this is how I do She's still obviously quite tired. Um, they've set me up for bed here tonight, and um, so I've taken them up on the offer. I don't know how much sleep I'll get tonight, to be honest. Um, at some point I've got to move the car on as well, so they have given her um, another go on the nebulizer and she's now having a little bit of oxygen as well just to try and top her up a bit um, with mixed results. It's not necessarily very high to be honest. So yeah, from that point I'm probably going to call it a night, so I'll see you later. Bye. Your number one. What's that one then, do you think? Two. Yeah. Can you spell it? Two. One. Oh. Two. Mm-hmm. Four. Four, yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Four. That's a good one. Well done. There were four beds. There were four beds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like number one. Yeah. Number one. And you're the only one in here. I know one. She's had a little try at breakfast, but she's not overly keen on it. She's doing a lot better, um, in the sense that she's not working overly hard. As you can see, her breathing's under control. Um, still working a little bit hard on her breathing, um, but hopefully uh, they'll have a look at her a bit more detail in a minute and see what they want to do. Heidi having her milkshake. Her strawberry milkshake. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Good. We mustn't forget those eight legs. <coughs> 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 This is Heidi Joghurt for lunch. She's got a cheese sandwich, but she would like the yogurt first. Is it a nice yogurt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Um, she's definitely perked up a bit more. Um, definitely a lot happier. And they sort of said to us if she can go to two o'clock without needing another inhaler, because um, they're not putting their sabutamol through uh, a mask or anything anymore. 
um, they made her take a normal inhaler and uh, that was about 10 o'clock so they just want to see if she needs it before two o'clock if she doesn't then they'll probably send her home so that's good if we can get home uh, she definitely sounds a lot better and perhaps we'll see what she's like tonight and then if she's okay tonight then we'll hopefully assume she's passed the worst of it and um, maybe I'll be able to get up on Sunday night but we'll see how we go we'll try and get out of here first Okay, so I'll be glad to get out of these clothes because I've been in them for two days. Um, and we did get out at two o'clock, if you haven't already guessed. Um, we're home. Um, it's been a bit manic because we just wanted to be out of there, really. Heidi was keen to get out at two. Um, but they came round and saw us at two o'clock, uh, or just after. Um, and they saw her and they were happy with how she was. And she's been so, 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 so much better. Um, and they've you know, just sort of said about the inhalers. Um, they've given her the rest of the course of the steroids, which is just another two um, doses. I've settled her off tonight, much easier straight off. Um, obviously still very tired from the whole uh, process, but doing really well, which is good. Um, if she has a good night tonight, then yeah, potentially we'll probably will be looking at going up maybe uh, tomorrow night, which is obviously Sunday night. So we might just squeeze the night in. Uh, more so because I think obviously Louise is keen to see Heidi make sure she's okay um, and obviously I'd, I'd love to see Noah as well I mean clearly the priority is making sure that Heidi's okay and making sure she doesn't deteriorate again in relation to this particular episode they were fantastic um, I can't fault I can't fault any of them actually to be honest I mean I'm not a picky guy anyway and I'd probably stoutly defend someone or be the last one to criticise but uh, they were really good. Um, they saw us on time really quickly and well they obviously did the right stuff. They highly enjoyed it but um, they certainly made it more bearable for her and you know for myself at a time when I've got Noah in Bristol as well that that meant a lot so yeah big thumbs up to the guys up in uh, Caroline Forbes and of course on the Devon Doctors. Uh, keeping on track with Noah well as far as I'm aware he's been fairly settled which is good considering uh, the circumstances we've had. So again, there's not much footage. I don't think Louise has taken an awful lot of stakes. I think she's just been enjoying him being him, which is lovely, really. Um, hopefully it's starting to feel like we might be getting there. Fingers crossed. I think we both knew that there would be these tough times, and uh, maybe this wasn't quite how I envisaged one of those tough times being. And it's great that Heidi's come out the next day, having gone in. So, yeah, you know, we're over that hurdle and we'll keep plugging on. Now she's off, I think I'm going to go for some good, good well-earned sleep as well. Um, especially if I want to go up to Bristol tomorrow. But yeah, we'll leave it at that for today. So I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.